If for some reason in this video there's lots of wind noise when I'm explaining the ball pythons, it's because there's these fans on top of everywhere blowing everywhere. You literally can't escape fans blowing on you no matter where you go in this place, which is great for airflow, but not so great for audio. Friends and family, what's going on folks? We finally made it here to Canada. I'm up on the roof of our hotel. Apparently this is a thing you're allowed to do right now, so I had to take full advantage of that. Uh, just landed on a plane. There's the airport right there actually. You can see planes landing as we speak. We're going over to Billy D. Rose's place, Mutation Creation here in Canada, and we went there last year, but I didn't really get to fully immerse myself in it. I felt like it was a little crazy, and it's probably gonna be a little crazy this time too, but what I really want to do is I know Billy has lots of really, really cool, awesome ball pythons over at his place. And I thought it would be fun to try and pick out my top five. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for that one. You know, I'm going around yeah. spying on people. <laughs> My whole video is just fine. <laughs> I've laughed at this guy before he even knew who I was. <laughs> Lord Elion. I say it a lion. I hear other people say other things. I say a lion. No, you could say Lord Elion. Lord Elion. How do you say it? Lord Elion. <laughs> See, I say it the right way. Yeah. Um, that's important to me. Yeah. I say things the right way. Otherwise, I look like an idiot. Mm -hmm. But he's got an awesome channel as well. He actually produces all of Billy's stuff as well. And mm -hmm. I'm actually recording right now. <laughs> If you, if you have not seen some of this guy's stuff, man, it is hilarious. Like, it's it's my type of humor. The, oh, yeah? the music stuff, too, like the bars you yeah. drop, it's, it's good stuff. There will be a link down in the description you can find his I'm channel. actually spying on people right now in my video. Like, he doesn't even know. Like, I'm right now recording himself, but I'm, like, recording me, too. Like, I'm it's behind the scenes, behind the scenes, <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> 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 oh, Dave paid for those poop spots, Billy. So, with this guy and the... <laughs> What's up, Dave? <laughs> I'm really gonna be... So I've got some double... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost passed out. Black passed out. No, that's Dave. Uh, uh, Brian Cusco. Well, he <laughs> where? he looks. Double he's like heads. he's like. Where's the black pastel head? I'm the black guy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you head for? I'm head for Puerto Rican. <laughs> I wasn't expecting these guys to be here, but they were here anyway. I'm gonna put a link down in the description for his channel, man. Urban Jungle. Thank you. It's good stuff. Appreciate it. I would love to try and do a story with everybody. I don't know if that's possible, so just because of the amount of people that are. What I really want to do is pick my top favorite snakes at your place. Yes. If you guys don't follow Billy, by the way, here on YouTube, I'm going to put a link in the description for his channel because he's always doing awesome things like hosting a whole slew of people here. And it's awesome to do it though, I mean. It's, yeah. And he's, he's got, he doesn't, no, he doesn't screw up either on the camera when he put the camera on him either, Dave. I am, I am not a professional. <laughs> We're gonna also count how many times we can get Dave messing up on camera. Oh, yeah. well, I, I can't, I lose track. I don't need any help messing up on camera. <laughs> Billy, though, I'm, we're going to put the link in the description. you got to go check out his channel if you have not seen it already. Chances are, if you're into ball pythons, you have, because he's got crazy stuff over here where I'm going to show you my top five. And, uh, Billy, you got anything to say for yourself? No, man, I just, I'm glad everybody's here. Uh, it's awesome to have everybody together, especially, um, you know, talking and, and, and showing stuff off and, and you know. Wait, 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 sorry. Oh, here we go. You're filming with Brian right now, but you said something awesome, and then I just turned on my camera. So what were you saying? <laughs> Oh, so th th yeah, okay. <laughs> We're and, sorry. And you know what? It was, that was, so, a total it was so good that Brian's gonna use it next time. On him. <laughs> All right, I know I've told you guys I'm gonna shoot top five snakes. I'm really gonna make that happen. It's kind of tough. We got a room full, of lots of people making lots of funny things happen, and I'm. I'm, I'm not necessarily filming it or catching it all on video, I'm just kind of experiencing it. But I do want to bring you guys the top five snakes. If you really want to experience what happens in this room on these nights before the reptile show, you got to make a point of coming up and experience it for yourself. Because there's nothing quite like it to actually be in the room and have somebody actually be able to touch you 
while you've been doing these things, you know what I mean? See, that, that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't here. You can watch all the videos you want, that wouldn't have happened without being in this room. So, Billy does make it pretty uh, easy for people to come yeah, in, and there are lots of people that just walked into the room right now, too. Look, look at we just the, the room just multiplied yeah, no, by like I don't know how a whole lot more people just walked in. No right, so, you provide an inspiration I'm gonna try my best to show you these top five ball pythons, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is this was the first thing that I grabbed. And I was like, you know what I should really do is do a top five ball pythons here at Billy's place because this thing right here is freaking sick as hell, man. I mean, look at the look at that. It's like it's like amazing. Look at how amazing that thing is, dude. Just the the way the white. So this is a super orange dream calico. Something, 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 something. Asphalt slash yellow belly. Asphalt slash yellow belly. So potentially asphalt, potentially yellow belly. But just the way that the alien heads have all become one, they're all bounced up off the belly, which is super orange, by the way, on that lower part. And then the pure white, of course. And the amount of white from the calico that's coming up inside the alien heads. This contrast is really what jumped out at me. Just the white with the extreme black outlining on the bottom, speckled with those pinks coming in I mean this thing this thing popped out of me I was gonna save this for last but there are more equally amazing things to show you I promise um, so I went ahead and did the bold move of making this thing first potentially instead of saving the best for last doing the best first which is not necessarily ideal but I'm doing it anyway I was about to give you a shout out now I'm not <laughs> But the reason I'm telling you is because I could we could go now and get churro ice cream sandwiches. So Chris just told me about I wasn't gonna give him a shout out a second ago, but then he told me about these churro ice creams that we can get. Churro ice cream sounds pretty amazing to me. I want to say that uh, it's loud in here. You guys should go check out Chris. Chris has been really awesome. He's he's made sure that I'm well taken care of out here. Um, well, I mean, at least he at least talks about making sure I'm taken care of, which is in itself makes me feel better. So. I'm gonna put a link for his stuff down below so you can check out Chris because he's awesome and uh, he's been a solid. You've actually been a very solid contact here in Canada. I like, try. I do. Gone, I do what I can. The whole year since I've been gone, I feel like you kept me connected to Canada. Well, so. I, you know, I did what I could. <laughs> <laughs> so these are both potentially leopard yellow. So these are both. Damn it, Dave, rubbing off on me, bro. What? <laughs> so these are both potentially leopard yellow spot. No. <laughs> so th these are both potentially leopard yellow belly specials plus and I couldn't choose between one or the other because this one in my opinion had the really insane contrasty whacked out pattern and this one has super clean cool pattern as well but here's where it comes into the difference so again this one right here has a lot more crazy looking pattern just a bit more contrasty and a bit more wacky like smaller alien heads a little more detail going on in the alien heads and uh, the belly is very cool as well but however on the other one here the belly is just a tad bit more insane with that stripe coming down the middle actually you know what now that I look at it on the camera I mean you know you see how you actually have these solid things by themselves down here they're almost like their own little piece of pattern trying to break off I'm, honestly now that I'm looking on camera I'm, I'm having a tough time again picking between the bellies this one's pretty there's just a little less going on on this belly than on the belly on this one so that was the tough choice between the two so I just I morph them both into morph them both more from both from Ryan to Murphy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I just realized that it was actually this third snake that had the insane belly. Thank you to Chris for bringing that over and bringing to my attention that this was actually the belly I was looking for. So, I mean, you can kind of see why, right? Have you guys ever seen a belly on any snake, for that matter, let alone a ball python, look that incredible? I don't think so. I don't think so. So this is the next snake, the Champagne Enchi Special Yellow Belly. This is actually a joint pairing between Mr. Chris Ward and Billy. And I just thought that the orangeness coming out of the snake was amazing, as well as the Enchi bringing all that pattern into the Champagne. Just really cool. I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit, see if we can get a little wider shot of the snake in its entirety. 
So just the amount of the orange that's coming through on the whole snake and then the, the pattern that's coming back into the champagne. Another thing I really love about champagne in general is it can just be so unpredictable unpredictable as far as how it turns out with the, the amount of pattern that comes in. And the other thing, I know everybody likes to talk about the different patterns and colors that happen with ball pythons, which arguably and easily is one of the really cool features about them for sure. But I also look for in ball pythons this head, this nice, big, fat, chunky head in relation to the mouth of the snake. That's something that really stands out to me. When I, you know, when I see a snake that's got a skinnier head, it just doesn't quite have that same strong look to me. I like strong snakes like this that have that nice, big, chunky jowls, not jowls, but the head, the head boobs, they call them, right? That's something that really blows me away about some of these snakes, that head shape. I remember the first time when I when I first kept, you know, only colubrids as a kid and I, we have all these kind of skinny looking heads, you didn't have these big fat ones, I'd look at ball python heads and be like, that's a serious head on a snake, man. And so when I see one that really accentuates that fact, it just gets me excited again. This man traveled all the way out here from Belgium. One of these days I'm going to have to make over to his country and check out some of the stuff over there and see my sister and, and yeah, yeah all that awesome stuff. He said I'm welcome so I feel welcome already. You know, see after I eat the country out of ice cream we can still uh, have that welcome. And the waffles. <laughs> and waffles. Ice cream, waffles, chocolate, beer, yeah. Oh, we're set. And don't forget French fries. And French fries, of course, because yeah. he's on the French side of Belgium. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Good to see you here, man. Good to see you. I'm going to put a link, adopt the ball. I'm going to put a link down in the description for, Thank you. for his stuff so you can go check it out. Because he's a very good guy right here. Awesome guy right here. Okay, so I made a post about this little dude on Instagram, on Facebook, rather, the other day. And this is a butter pinstripe cryptic pet clown and this one stood out to me right away when we were first checking out the stuff and just because of the amount of white coming up the sides and just the color the tone of this snake like it's got that golden greenish and then the pinstripe influence creating these cool patterns coming across the top uh, I'm sorry I'm not getting the focus so well but the other awesome thing about this snake besides that is that it's actually het clown too. So the crazy thing also to me is that I haven't picked any visual clowns out of Billy's stuff so far to show. Um, I, I thought that I saw something clown that was going to really... He has these spot nose clowns that I really want to get because I'm still really into spot nose clown and I, I still don't have spot nose clown at the house and I'd really like to add spot nose clown so I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud right now. But this snake was definitely one of the top five. I don't know if I hit five now. Those other three counted as one, I thought. So maybe this is number four. And I've got one more to pick out. It's tough. It's tough. Being here and trying to pick out, like, my favorite snake of all these snakes is just, I, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't, it's so tough, I can't even keep the point, camera pointed straight. What you going to do with that thing, Burroughs? I don't know what you gonna do with that thing. Carrie, Brian. stop him! Carrie, stop him! Carrie, stop us! Oh, Carrie, stop him! Carrie, stop <laughs> us! Oh my God! <laughs> my camera just <laughs> ate your camera, bro. You see that? I know, dude. We got eclipsed by Cusco. <laughs> are you gonna Are you gonna help me? Yes. Tomorrow? Yes. Can you Can you make sure that I stay safe yeah. tomorrow? So, guys, we're gonna make sure that Brian has a very safe yeah, and enjoyable Saturday at the CRB and you guys all just come and give them big hugs. They're going to protect me at the show tomorrow. So I'll put a link in the description for their channel so you can hold them to it. Love it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. Hey, I couldn't find a fifth snake. I mean, I, technically I showed seven snakes, technically, but I couldn't find a fifth. Oh, I did see that last night. Yeah. It, and I thought it was a sunset at first. See, that's what I thought when it, when it first Open this, I was like, is that? And then I'm like, oh. just that like orange blushing there. Banana and she's special, looking like a sunset over there. So that's what it is, it's what it was, it's where it goes, it's what it does. Next video, we're going to be hanging out at the actual Canada Reptile Show. Barros and Scary are going to keep me safe. Billy's going to be there too. Everybody in Canada is going to be there, actually. Everybody. Everybody in Canada. Don't miss it. Brian is going to blow the roof off of this place. Maybe. <laughs> I did have a lot of dairy today, so. <laughs> <laughs>